Deep Research AI is quietly becoming the most powerful tool in business, helping agencies land million-dollar clients, consultants scale solo, and startups validate ideas in hours, not weeks. In early 2025, OpenAI called it Research Analyst Level AI. Google, Perplexity, and Waldo followed fast. In this video, we'll break down exactly how it works, who's using it, and why it's reshaping entire industries. Stick around till the end to see how freelancers and solo founders are using it to create unfair advantages with real examples, tools, and step-by-step -step use cases. What is Deep Research AI? Deep Research AI goes far beyond traditional AI search or summarization. Instead of just pulling a few articles, these tools autonomously run multi-step reasoning tasks, scanning tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands, of documents in real time. The goal isn't just to summarize, it's to synthesize. That means identifying patterns, verifying claims, and structuring insights that are relevant to a specific business problem. This class of tools became more widely available between December 2024 and February 2025. Google launched its enterprise-facing research product focused on law, medicine, and finance. Perplexity introduced a research agent that performs large-scale document analysis. OpenAI added similar capabilities to ChatGPT, allowing it to process uploaded files, cross-reference sources, and deliver detailed outputs with citations. Unlike general-purpose AI, these tools integrate live data from the open web, internal knowledge bases, social platforms, and subscription-only databases. That makes them especially valuable in high-stakes, research-heavy environments like strategy, marketing, and enterprise consulting. The agency's already cashing in. Several major agencies have already embedded deep research into their daily workflows, and it's changing how they operate. At Havas Group, the technology is integrated into their proprietary Converge platform. According to Dan Hagen, Havas's global chief data and technology officer, this approach compresses what used to take days of manual research into minutes. One key use case, custom GPTs that simulate real consumers allowing strategists to talk to a digital version of a Gen Z shopper or fitness enthusiast and extract insights interactively. Golan, part of Interpublic Group, started by using deep research for background checks, but they've since scaled it to handle audience profiling, creative brief development, and competitive brand audits. Paul Parton, Golan's chief strategy officer, said the shift isn't just about working faster, it's about producing better ideas backed by richer data. Then there's Mighty and True, a B2B-focused agency in Austin. They've embedded deep research into their own tool, Flow, which helps account managers create client briefs powered by live performance and benchmark data. They're also using AI agents from Relay to automate internal content creation and marketing analysis. The key difference across these use cases is this. Agencies are no longer relying solely on researchers and analysts. They're combining human strategy with automated systems that never stop pulling and refining data. The tools powering it all. Several platforms are driving this shift, each catering to different users and industries. Waldo has emerged as a go-to for agencies and consultants. Unlike general purpose tools, it's built specifically for marketing with industry-specific workflows for brand audits, audience research, and strategic planning. Waldo also integrates social listening, ad libraries, and proprietary research tools. It's already used by firms like WPP, Accenture, BCG, and independent agencies. And with no seat-based pricing, it's designed for full-team collaboration. Perplexity is positioned more like a research assistant at enterprise scale. It allows users to run detailed, citation-backed research workflows, scanning huge document sets, pulling from real-time data, and even tracking how prompts evolve over time. By the first quarter of 2025, it had expanded into multiple industries beyond marketing, including finance and legal. And OpenAI's advanced capabilities inside ChatGPT also fall under the deep research umbrella. With browsing, file uploads, and integration into corporate workflows, it's being adopted in enterprise settings where teams need to combine internal and external data into structured, analyst-style outputs. Finally, startups like Relay are focusing on modular, agent-based systems. 
Small AI agents built for specific tasks like content planning, lead gen research, or campaign optimization. Agencies like Mighty and True are already deploying these agents to cut down on repetitive research tasks. What sets all these tools apart isn't just speed, it's the depth, scale, and flexibility of insight generation. This isn't content creation, it's decision infrastructure. How deep research is creating millionaires. In high stakes industries like advertising, consulting, and venture-backed startups, speed and precision can directly translate into revenue. And this is where deep research AI is having its most immediate financial impact. Agencies are now landing six and seven figure client pitches faster than ever. Not because they've added more staff, but because they've compressed weeks of work into hours. With deep research tools scanning and synthesizing data from over 100,000 sources, teams are delivering creative briefs, brand audits, and market intelligence at a pace traditional processes couldn't match. One example is how creative briefs, typically crafted over multiple strategy sessions and stakeholder interviews, are now being generated with far more context drawn from customer behavior, competitive campaigns, and social trends. Instead of relying on anecdotal insights, teams are walking in with hard data and clear positioning strategies, something clients increasingly expect in competitive pitches. Freelancers and consultants are tapping into the same tools. Market research, trend analysis, and white paper development, tasks that once took entire research departments, are now being completed by solo operators. With platforms like Perplexity, Claude, and Waldo, individual experts can offer insights on par with agencies with little overhead. Entrepreneurs are using these tools to validate startup ideas, explore niche opportunities, and build investor-ready pitch decks. Instead of hiring analysts or consultants, many early-stage founders are running deep research prompts themselves, using AI to compare verticals, understand competitive positioning, and synthesize customer feedback at scale. While not every use case results in immediate profits, the compounding value of faster decisions, sharper insights, and lower research costs is significant. In industries where every hour counts, deep research isn't just a tool, it's becoming a core part of how value is created. Why this is just the beginning. The impact of deep research AI is still unfolding, but what's clear is that it's not just speeding things up, it's raising the bar on quality. We're seeing a shift from using AI as a shortcut to using it as a strategic multiplier. Instead of replacing teams, it's augmenting them, allowing small groups to produce the kind of insight that previously required entire departments. As these tools become more accessible and more integrated into business workflows, new trends are emerging. AI native agencies are starting to appear. Structured from the ground up around automation, research agents, and AI-driven output. Independent consultants are scaling faster by embedding deep research into client work and offering premium, insight-rich deliverables with fewer resources. And perhaps most significantly, deep research capabilities are moving beyond marketing and strategy. Companies are starting to embed them into sales operations, customer support, product development, and even internal training, using AI to surface insights wherever there's data. The barrier to entry isn't technical ability anymore. It's knowing what to ask, where to look, and how to structure the output. And as the tools evolve, that learning curve is shrinking fast. How to start using these tools today? While some platforms are invite-only or tailored to enterprise teams, several deep research tools are already available to individuals and small businesses. Perplexity AI Pro is one of the most accessible options. It supports citation-backed outputs, multi-source synthesis, and conversational prompts that guide users through the research process. Waldo, though primarily aimed at agencies, is being tested by early adopters across strategy and marketing teams. It includes ready-made workflows for brand audits, competitive analysis, and persona development, though access may still be limited. OpenAI's ChatGPT, when paired with browsing, file upload, and custom GPTs, now supports multi-step research tasks. Teams can upload documents, request sourced insights, and integrate findings into slides, briefs, or internal memos. Claude by Anthropic offers similar capabilities with strong performance on long context reasoning. Users can upload complex data sets 
PDFS, or reports, and request structured summaries or deep synthesis across documents. Getting started with deep research, AI usually comes down to three key steps. First, define your niche or problem. Be specific. Whether it's analyzing a competitor, understanding an audience, or exploring a market trend, the more focused the question, the better the results. Second, craft a targeted research prompt. Tools like Perplexity, Claude, or ChatGPT with browsing perform best when given clear context. You can upload documents, add links, or combine multiple queries to guide the AI. Third, let the AI surface and organize insights. This could be customer data, industry trends, or competitive analysis, structured and ready to use. From there, you can shape the output into briefs, pitch decks, strategies, or reports, all in a fraction of the usual time. What this shift actually tells us. The rise of deep research, A, I reflects a broader change in how work is evolving. It's not just about faster tools. It's about how access to high quality, structured insight is becoming a baseline expectation, not a luxury. Industries that once relied on manual research are now adapting to workflows where analysis is continuous. Data is always current and insights are generated on demand. That shift isn't limited to large agencies or consulting giants. It's quietly becoming available to individuals, freelancers, and small teams. And that's where the economic shift begins. What we're seeing isn't just a change in how research gets done, it's a redistribution of who can do high-level work. Deep Research AI is making it possible for individuals to access the same strategic advantage that once belonged only to big firms. And in many cases, that advantage is turning into income, influence, and new business models, creating entirely new paths to wealth in a data-driven economy. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.